Hello! Today we will talk about the command ARP and I'll give you some examples on how to use this command. First, let's run the command ARP A. This displays all the current ARP entries and what's that? So, ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol and the command is used to manage this ARP cache. It maps IP addresses here on the left and MAC addresses. Um, a MAC address is your computer unique identification number used by the network to identify your device. And your IP address is the online network address for your computer. So for each computer in your network, there is a the computer or some other device, there is a, an IP assigned to this uh, device or this interface. EN1 here represents uh, the my computer interface, in this case my Mac Mini, Mac Mini interface, network interface, uh, and I'm currently using the Wi-Fi, that's why it's EN1. If it was using an Ethernet cable, it would be the e EN0 interface. So let's see what is the IP address I'm using <clears throat> on this interface with the command IP config get if add r en1. So this is my IP. As you can see, this IP is not reflected here in my ARP. Uh, table, only the ones that are external to my device are represented here. So there is no 7 tree here um, in any of these entries. Um, now let's imagine you, you will connect a new device to your network and you need to know what's his IP. Uh, you can use this command ARP to compare what you had before connecting your device and after you connect it. So let's give it a try. So again, I'll type ARP-A. Uh, this is my current entries. Now I'll connect my device. I will connect it, power on. In this case, it's a Raspberry Pi, a small single board computer. So, okay, should be booting. Let's see if we already have a new entry here, no, probably is still um, booting the operating system and uh, starting up the network interfaces and the network services so it gets an IP. Let's check it again, still no entries, hope it's everything okay with my <laughs> Raspberry Pi. Let's check again. Oh, it seems we have one more entry here. So this 95 is a new device that was not listed here on the previous table. So it found on my network a new IP address assigned to my Raspberry Pi, the device with this uh, MAC uh, address. So what can I do? Now I can connect to my Raspberry Pi because I know the, the address. So I know the address is this. I can type SSH Pi, that's my user, to 192.168.1.95. Okay. Type my password. And I'm in. So this is a use case for this um, ARP command. Uh, I discovered a new device on my network and I, I know now know his, uh, the IP of that device and so I can connect to it. Okay, so what else can I do with this command? I can, I may want to add a name to my ARP entry 
for example I have this name here associated with this IP but no more names are associated even with my new device now I want to have the name to this to this um, to this device how can I do it ARP dash s capital s my pi 192.168.1.95 so there is a difference here between this uppercase and lowercase this uppercase will delete the current entry and add a new one if I, I if it was a lowercase s it would add a new a new entry uh, so let's do it okay there is a problem here unknown host we may have to edit our host file this is where our our devices listed or some hosts in our network that we want to have a name associated so let's set it with the sudo we should have uh, admin privileges for this okay now I will add the host 192.168.1.95 and I call it my pi okay let's test it if I ping my pi now it answers by the name okay let's try again to add uh, this host name associate this host name to this ip in my arp table okay let's do it okay operation invalid ethernet address hmm. why why is this man okay i was misunderstanding here the the command i'll type man r let's go here to the man pages where we have the dash s so this is the ether adder <laughs> this is mac address this is not the ip address that was the the issue so let's recover here the MAC address. Uh, we already had this information, so should be this one. Let's copy and replace here in our command the. Let's paste here and let's see if it goes. Okay, since I use sudo. This is asking for my password. Okay, now no errors. Let's see if we have the, the entry there. <clears throat> yes, we have. So we have now our entry with our MAC address and the corresponding IP. So we have to do here some troubleshooting. <laughs> but uh, we got there we got there okay more 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 stuff we can delete an entry we can delete using again pre with the admin uh, privileges arp dash d and now the ip address let's paste it here so this will delete that um, that entry we just had it okay entry deleted let's check yep it is no longer in my cache in my arp table let's set it again because I, I want it to be there okay oh sorry dash a okay there it is again if I want to delete all the entries I would do this r d the a this a is for all it would delete all the all my cache um, hope you enjoyed check uh, main pages very important 
to read them well <laughs> and they interpret uh, the correct uh, uh, meaning of each option like we saw before in this video um, if you want to learn some more cool stuff uh, just check the main pages and uh, to see what you can do with these IRP commands thank you for watching liking subscribing see you on the next one bye